Godzilla! Oh, Godzilla, monster of monsters! Let's go! Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. It's the, sp it's, the, it's the solar system. And very, very slowly crawling text. In to AD, the Earth is very slow. The Earth, lowercase, receives. So that's, so that's Earth as in like just dirt. It's not the planet. A declaration. Oh no! Drill spaceships of war from planet X. So just some unknown planet. Somebody, somebody declared war on us somewhere. With the entire, I can't speed this up by the way, entire solar, oh it's King Ghidorah! System as the battlefield. <laughs> it's so slow. Bloody combat begins. Oh, it's a lot of drill spaceships. There's so many of them. Between space monsters and our guardians. God Mothra! Is that the story? Is, the, is that the full story? Anything else? guessing that's probably all we get. So Mothra actually is a guardian of Earth. Godzilla just sometimes the guardian of Earth. The Earth! Alright. Well, hello everybody, I'm the Boy Chicken, I didn't introduce this. This is Godzilla Monster of Monsters, an NES game that I played a ton as a kid, but I never beat it until recently. And so, since I finally beat it, I wanted to kind of share it with y'all. Um, so to start off, this is the Earth Grid. Um, the game takes place, and it's sort of like a board game that you play over a series of planets. We start on Earth, and we're going to the outer, outer uh, planets to reach Planet X. So you have two playing pieces. You have Mothra, and you have Godzilla. Um, Godzilla can move two spaces, and Mothra can move four. And for every space you walk over, you... Um, you have to, like, fight through it. So, as Godzilla, I now have to, like, fight my way through, um, through the areas that I walked through. It's kind of cool. Like, what's interesting about this game is that when I, when I played it as a kid, I, it was mostly just because I wanted to play a Godzilla game. Because even though, like, I didn't really watch Godzilla movies as a child, I love the concept of Godzilla movies and, like, all of the big monsters and like just this idea that there were all these like you know big monsters just fighting it out and I, I just really loved it um, and this game totally plays into that which is awesome um, so yeah we're gonna play it I'm excited to play this <laughs> I want to beat it I want to beat it again it's cool but but oh yeah so what I was saying is that like I didn't understand that it's like a strategy game. So, at, so you get a turn and then the monsters get a turn. So if I bump Godzilla into Gizora down here, I will have to f now fight Gizora at the end of my walk, so to speak. So the the plat the the actual terrain stages okay, you got you got nuclear breath because you're Godzilla. Um, the actual terrain spaces change based on sort of their appearance. So this weird like brain thing showed up because I went onto that, that tile that kind of looked like a swirly swirl. And now I'm back to regular regular uh, terrain. So you might be asking, this is Earth, right? Well, why do we see Earth in the background? That is not explained. <laughs> that is one of the many things about this game that's kind of just, uh, I don't know. But supposedly, this is Earth. For, for every 
For every world you go to, you can see the planet in question in the background. So, this is Earth because Earth's over there. I guess maybe Planet X brought, like, their own, like, maybe asteroids to fight on or something? I'm not sure. I don't think it, it's not explained. It's just whatever. All right, so now we're going to fight Gazora. So you can see he's got health and power, and I've got health and power. And Gazora's pretty easy, because Gazora, I don't think, can actually even hurt you. I think Gazora just tries to push you away. So when his little tentacle tentacle gets near you, it kind of, like, forces you back and down. Anyway, I beat him. I beat him. Got some experience points. I'm level 2 now. And that's, um, Mogura. So, in order to beat a le a stage, you have to. I don't think you have to. I don't think you have to beat all the monsters. You just have to have both characters reach this, which is the enemy home base, and then stop on it, so to speak. And then, like once you, once you go through it, you can then advance to the next stage. So, I actually need to start moving Mothra too. Um, so I'm gonna move Mothra here. As you can see, Mothra moves pretty far. So, one of the other cool things about this game is that, like. Uh, I was mentioning how it has, like, strategy. A lot of the strategy comes in from who you use and when you use them. Again, when I was a kid, I was just like, oh, I just want to use Godzilla because I like Godzilla and I don't want to play as Mothra because who cares about Mothra? Apparently, lots of people. Apparently, Mothra is one of the more popular uh, Godzilla monsters, and she's been in, like, a ton of movies. Um, and like I was saying earlier, she actually is technically a guardian of Earth. Like, she's she is supposed to be, like, a guardian of balance on Earth, and Godzilla is just, you know, a giant nuclear monster. Um, but anyway. Um, so Mothra can, as you can see, she can fly, and if you push, if you use her special move, which both of their special moves are used by pushing start, which is weird. Select is pause, start is special attack. I prefer it to if, if, if select a special attack, but I think they could have just put, you know, B as special attack, but anyway. So yeah, Mothra's thing is that she drops these, which I believe are supposed to be, like, poison powder? There's this kind of thing you see a lot in Japanese games about, like, where moths seem to have, like, poison on their wings. And... I feel like I looked this up once. I don't know where that comes from. I, like, moths do actually have, like, scales on their wings that they can drop. Like, they, they, there's, like, a powder on moth wings. But I don't think it's poisonous, so I don't know why that's such a consistent thing. But, like, you know, think about, like, bug Pokemon. They often have, like, poison powder and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that. It's weird. Anyway, that's what that's supposed to be. And, um... It's it's not quite as powerful as like Godzilla's nuclear breath, um, but it takes up a lot less power, so you can use a lot more of it. For the most part, I usually use Mothra's little beamy beam because it's just easy to control, and if you just mash the button, it just shoots a lot of it. So yeah, you just kind of like fire constantly. So when you play as Mothra, it's kind of like you're playing like a like a very sluggish shooter game. When you play as Godzilla. It's like you're up. Oh, who are you fighting? Oh, you want to go, Mogera? So this guy's hilarious. <laughs> I don't, I don't actually know that much about like the um, the monsters from their respective movies. Because again, I, I loved Godzilla stuff growing up, but more just the concept of Godzilla stuff. Uh, uh, uh. You want to go, Mogera? Uh, I'm kind of getting beat up really bad. Yeah! Alright, so Godzilla's level 3. I need to let... I need to let Mothra beat the next couple of guys. Um... Yeah, like... I liked Godzilla... As, like, a concept. But I didn't really watch the movies. Which I regret. I, I kind of wish I had, because... Like, I feel like it's cool to... I feel, I feel like it would be a cool thing to, like, know a lot about. And I was like, oh yeah, I know a lot about Godzilla stuff. It's like, oh, that's cool and so campy. Also, you can punch volcanoes until they stop erupting. <laughs> you can just beat the volcanoes into not erupting anymore. It's like, stop it! Stop erupting! And there's a dragon, which is normal for Earth. Again, we're supposed to be on Earth. Or Earth is supposed to be over there, at least. 
Then there's Mysterious Squid Location, so that's also fun. You just kind of accept a lot of this. It's just that is the game. Like, if it weren't for the fact that you start on Earth, it wouldn't feel weird, because you're like, oh, I'm, I'm just fighting my way across the solar system, and these are all, like, alien worlds. But no, they call the first area Earth. It's very mysterious. All right. Move more Mothra. Okay, so Mothra made it to the home base. So once Mothra finishes this move, she can then choose to move to the next field, which is the next planet. And uh, and that's kind of how each round goes. And like as you go along, the individual stages become more more difficult. Like there, you get more diversity in terms of like what the stages are like. Um, and the monsters themselves become stronger. Like as you saw with Godzilla, I've been leveling up. Um, the monsters also love. I think I can beat this game again, and uh, I want to do it because because uh, I, I like it. And there you go. <laughs> and there you go. Oh, another thing about Godzilla and Mothra. So in general, Mothra is more defensive. Like it might seem strange to imagine that a moth is the has the stronger defense of the two, but in fact that's the case. Mothra takes less damage in general, but she also does less damage. So like Godzilla's great for stages where you have to like wreck a bunch of stuff, and Mothra's great for um any stage that requires a lot of like endurance or anything like that. In fact, the the previous time when I said I, I said I finally beat this game, um I honestly leveled up Mothra a lot faster than I did Godzilla. Um, because she could get around and the monsters kept challenging her because she was closer. So and Look at this, it's like a it's like a cool like trench run from a uh, Star Wars or something. I don't know what this is supposed to this is the base. This is like the enemy base. Um I'm excited to be playing this. I'm sorry, I know I'm talking a lot. I'm doing I'm doing that thing I always do where it's like, ah, word vomit immediately. Because I'm just excited to be playing a new game. Um, but this is one that I've, I've been wanting to play for a while. So, I hope y'all enjoy it. Plus, I like this song. A lot of the music is pretty good in this game. One thing that's kind of neat is that... Just about every one of the uh, the giant monsters has a a unique theme. I think a couple of them over overlap, but I think for the most part, all the monsters get their own like theme song, which makes fighting them really cool because you're like, oh, it's like a significant battle. Plus, they all fight pretty differently, all told. Um, like you know, we saw Gazora, who whose only thing is to hop towards you and kind of like push you down onto the ground. Um, I think the idea is that Gazora is supposed to, like, hold you in place so that the other monsters can come up. Like, basically, Gazora keeps you in, in one spot on the grid, and then other monsters can show up and, like, catch up. Other monsters that can do more damage show up and get, and hurt you. Okay. So Mothra's there, so now I click on her twice, move to the next field. There we go. So Mothra's done, and now we got Gojira over here. And... You'll see how much easier it is for Godzilla to do this kind of stuff. It just really doesn't take much for Godzilla to wreck things. Which is cool. I, I like the fact that each character has their own thing. And, like, again, when I was a kid, I just wanted to play as Godzilla, so I, I didn't use Mothra, and so I didn't really understand. Like, Mothra always felt like the crappy one because she didn't do as much damage. And, you know, when you were a child, you are like, oh, I want to do the damage! It's cool! Um, and so you don't care about the one that's, like, defensive. It's like, no, I want to do the, the giant rubbery monster. Oh, so cool. So cool. Huh. But you gotta be Mothra sometimes. Sometimes you gotta be defensive. <clears throat> oh, also, we didn't really see it, but um, during the monster fights, you can actually kind of, like, run out of time. Uh, there, like, there's a, there's a certain amount of time that you... Pretty annoying. Right. And there we go. All right, so that was the first stage. Next, we are going on to Mars, and that will be for the next episode. 
I am Mojang, and this is Godzilla. And thanks for stopping by.